Hi guys, so welcome back. So today I have a little beauty DIY for you. It is this. This is a DIY makeup cleaning board and this is just a lunchbox lid and the reason why I've done a lunchbox lid is because you can put your brushes in the lunchbox and put the lid on, obviously. So it just means that when you travel or you know you're staying at a friend's for a couple of nights or whatever it is you can take your lunchbox with you with your brushes and just do your makeup next day take out your makeup brush go to the sink with your brushes put it all back in and bring it home and then i also wanted to make something like this and this is just a little eyeshadow brush duster and this is just a bit of cardboard that I just decorated. Doing your eyeshadow and then you want to use the same brush, you just dust it off. Why not make something while I have my glue gun out? And I also have a little clip about how I made this in this video. But yeah, this is what I came up with. And this part here is for my eyeshadow brushes. And then my foundation. And then I come up with this for like my foundation sponges, like blue blender or whatever. I hope you enjoy and let's get to it. Okay guys, so all you will need for this is your lunch box in this case and we just need the lid right now. You will also need one of these bad boys, a glue gun. And that's it. Okay guys, so I've got my lunch box lid and this lunch box lid has already like a textured top. So I want to do it on the inside anyway, where it's nice and smooth. So I'm just going to set it down and basically what I'm going to do is different little patterns. So for my little like eyeshadow brushes and stuff like this, I want to have a very like small pattern close together just to get like the nooks and crannies. Foundation brushes and stuff. I want to have quite a large area to work with so let's go and do the little eyeshadow part so I think I'm just gonna do like along here maybe like two different patterns so I'll, I'm gonna do little dots that was a fail That is my attempt at dots. <laughs> I would say practice your dots before you do this. So I'm just going to do another row just to give me a good bit of space. And then this hot glue gun is just a cheap one. And I mean this thing just falls. Okay so now I'm just going to do like little waves. Okay there you go. is what we were looking for if you can see all the wee bumps so I've just done attempt at <laughs> dots and I've just done some lines and then some little waves and that'll just get in all the bits of her on my brush. I'm going to do some wavy lines just for my brushes That is my little pattern. A bit for my eyeshadow brushes here, a section for my 
foundation and contouring brushes right here and then I think I'll just do like little like a dot wheel here maybe just to be able just to like wash my sponges like a beauty blender or a foundation wet. So that is my little board. <laughs> brushes, contour and foundation brushes. And then this is just for little bits because I probably will need little bits like this anyway. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> but just for like my sponges and like a beauty blender and stuff like that. So that is that. Okay guys, so when I wash my makeup brushes, I usually just use a baby shampoo and this is the one that I'm just going to be using tonight. I usually use the Johnson's um, baby shampoo, but this is all that I have, but this work just works just as well. Set in my little brush, just going to set that in the sink and to my brushes so these are the brushes that I will be washing today as you can see they are filthy first thing I like to do is just rinse my brushes I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of this on the head I'm just gonna start This is just a foundation brush that I'm doing and um, you can see that just coming off. So I'm going to make a little eyeshadow duster so when you're doing your eyeshadow you can just dust it off. So I've just got a bit of card that I've just cut into a square and this is just off a cereal box. So I'm just going to do lines like we did on the board. that and then that can just be your little duster for when you're doing your makeup and you just dust off your brush but if you want the back to be pretty then just decorate it and this is this really like flexible jammy sort of ribbon I guess like ribbon style I don't know my mom actually gave me this I'm really shocked by how like flexible it is but she just got this off wish.com um like the app but you can get this in like craft shops and whatever so i'm just gonna measure that out So that is it. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this DIY. Did you like my ideas? 
So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this and some makeup tutorials. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!